If I served in the Navy, I would have never been able to serve in a submarine. What up YouTube, it's your boy Vic. Today we're going sub-hunting. Okay. What up YouTube, it's your boy Vic, NYC82. In today's video, it's going to be about a trip that I recently took to Groton, Connecticut to see the Submarine Force Museum and the USS Nautilus. The museum itself is located just outside of the New London Naval Submarine Base. It is free admission and free parking. Feeling nostalgic? <laughs> Hell no, we didn't have these. <laughs> uh, the USS Nautilus is the first nuclear powered vessel. She was commissioned in 1954. The USS Long Beach would become the first nuclear powered surface ship. She was commissioned in 1961, but the Nautilus was the first vessel. You know, so she was commissioned in 1954. On January 17th, 1955, at 11 a.m., the commanding officer, Commander Eugene Wilkinson, signaled the historic message underway on nuclear power. She then sailed submerged from New London, Connecticut to Puerto Rico in less than 90 hours. She was used mostly for testing and research between 1955 and 57. In 1958, on, uh, President Eisenhower, he ordered the Navy to attempt a submarine transit of the North Pole to prepare for the soon to come SLBM weapon system, that's the Submarine Launch Ballistic Missile System. And uh, on August 8th, 1958, she completed, she completed the transit under the North Pole completely submerged. The Nautilus was also part of the naval blockade of Cuba in October of 62. She would eventually be decommissioned on May 26, 1979, and on May 20th, 1982, designated a national landmark. On April 11th, 1985, she opened up as part of the Submarine Force Museum and Library. This is dope. Yeah. This is a ballast control room. Give me a monitor. They're gonna throw us out.
These are various warfare pins. I've seen guys with that pin. Oh wow. This is cool stuff right here. I don't know. Yeah. You see the knot of this. The turtle. Huh. That's crazy. It's cool stuff. I'm not gonna lie, I'm impressed with this museum. It's smaller than I thought it was gonna be. We didn't even get to the good part yet. This looks interesting. Well, oh, that's an escape system. Wow. That's crazy. This looks very complex. I mean, Gives you a little bit of the backstory. This is a Gato class submarine. It's got an LCS coming through. It's the best one on it. It's only the second time I ever saw one. First time I saw one was on Guam. Is that another version of one on there? Serves as subs.
They weren't mine when they said it was tight. Yeah. Yeah, we probably only needed one. Yeah. Shit, they're four. We were stacked three high. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting I'm getting a very nostalgic fucking feeling right now. The smells. Yeah, it's <laughs> that lead based paint. <laughs> Watch your heads. Knee knocker. Boy, that is, that's worse than the airline bathroom. Wardroom. Yep, this is the wardroom for so the office with the eight. I served in the Navy. I would have never been able to serve in a submarine. This got to be cheese, man. You got a boombox right there? <laughs> Turn in. These are staterooms. The officers slept three, three to a stateroom. CEO, I guess. This is the XO state room, and that's the CO state room. And they would have slept right next to each other. All right, it's been a long time since I've had to do this. Back here. What number is this? Oh, yeah. All right. What is it, number three? Oh, this is personnel. I mean, it's small arm parking. Yo. That's some fucking boondoggers, bro. They still had them shits when we joined. They were yeah. still guys wearing them shits. Look, he's got the stencil. Huh? Gun locker. M14s. Huh? There's M14 in there. These smells are definitely bringing back memories. It smells like an active duty Navy ship. Seven MC. Oh, hell, to one away. Hell, to one away. <laughs> what is this thing behind you? It's too dark. <laughs> it's the wind up wheel. Is it? I don't want nothing to do with this. Ah, the wind up season with all the controls. Get on the roof, get the cat. They just stuff that they're trying to fix all the time. That's how Kyle operates. Oh. Oh, 
Chavo. Yeah. And then it's control lock. Wow, he has an old school OBA, dude. Yeah, wow. So the funny thing. Oh, shit. That's the CMC, or they call them chief of the boat submarines. Tight quarters, boy. That's it. And these are their lockers. Oh. Look at that, man. Well, guys, I'm getting close to the end of the video, so I'm going to wrap it up. Tell me but again, uh, didn't have anything overall, you know, this museum impressed me. It was more than I expected, um, especially it being free. Usually, free museums, you know, they're they're not much. But uh, no, this place was cool. You know, you got to see a lot of cool things, and, and it's historic. You know, this is the first nuclear-powered vessel ever. Now, you're not going to see the whole submarine. I just want to be clear about that. Um, there are parts that you're not going to see, but you do see enough, and it's a cool experience, and I recommend it. You know, it's free parking, free admission, and you're going to spend at least a few hours there, you know, uh, seeing everything. It's a cool place. Um, so that's going to be it, guys. If you like my material, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on my next adventure. Peace.